everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Judy Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make salmon croquettes. Have you ever tasted them before? If you never tasted them, you are in for a treat. This recipe is delicious. It does not require a lot of ingredients. And you know, you make a Gina Young style, it's going to be so tasty. You all never had my salmon croquettes before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need to make Gina Young's salmon croquettes. Okay, of course you're gonna need some salmon. Right here we have some salmon. Don't worry about the cans being upside down, but this is how you open the can. So we have some gorgeous salmon. I'm gonna use two cans today. And you're gonna need two eggs. You're also gonna need some veggies. Right here we have some beautiful veggies that I've cut up. We have tri-colored bell peppers, and then we have a small onion. You're gonna need some flour, and then you're gonna need a potato. The potato is the secret to my salmon croquettes. We'll talk about that a little later. Now you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. You will need Old Bay seasoning. Old Bay seasoning is gonna give your salmon croquettes beautiful flavor. And you're gonna need some pepper. We're gonna use some Maggi Pollo, and you will need some type of breadcrumbs. Now, don't worry, if you don't have Maggi Pollo, you can always use regular salt, okay? And right here I have some parsley flakes. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, so one of the first things that you're gonna need to do is take those veggies that we've cut up and you wanna saute them. The reason why we're gonna saute them is because salmon croquettes, they don't take a long time to cook. And if you put raw vegetables into your salmon croquettes, they will never cook. And when your family members bite down into their salmon croquette, they're gonna bite down into a piece of raw vegetable. You don't want that. So now what you're gonna do, go ahead and saute these. You can saute them a day ahead of time or several hours, you know, earlier before you make the recipe. So we're just gonna get these beautiful veggies right down into a saute pan that just has a little bit of vegetable oil. We don't have to cook them too long. Just cook them until your onions turn nice and translucent. What is translucent? Translucent is where your onions start to turn clear in color and the veggies start to soften up just a little bit. And once that happens, we'll turn that pan off. Okay, so that part is done and out the way. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we want to take our salmon and I need to show you what you should do with your salmon once you get it open. Now, my cans of salmon has been opened already and I have drained lots and lots of liquid out of the salmon. Here's how it works. I drained it, let's open it up and I wanna show you what yours will look like. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so you open it this way. All right, let's open it, it's very easy. Now, when you open it, you will see bones. Can you see that? You wanna take those bones out, they come out really easily. Just take them out just like so, see that? You don't want that discarded. Okay, so we'll set it there for the time being. Scrape any of those pin bones out, but I don't want you to stress out if you have any of those little tiny pin bones in there because it's what's really interesting about these bones, there's a lot of people out there that like to eat these bones. These bones are not the kind that can harm you or stab you in the throat. They're really soft. Some people eat them. I take mine out, okay? So now what we're gonna do, once we've removed the bones, Let's go ahead and take the silver skin right off. Okay, some of you might like to leave yours on. If you do, that's just fine. It's up to your discretion how you would like to do. Okay, so we have the bones gone, we have the silver skin off, and then we're gonna put that aside. Okay, so we'll do this side. There's a few bones here. I just wanna take them right out and put them 
that way and get that silver skin off just like so. Salmon croquettes is definitely something that I grew up on. My dad made them. My grandma made the best salmon croquettes and I'm going to share with you all that recipe. You are going to love to feed this to your family and loved ones. Okay, so now we have the skin off of this one. We have the bones off. Set it aside. Get rid of that skin. All right, I'm going in once again for the unwanted skin. Let's get rid of it and turn it over and see if there's any more bones. Perfect. Let's get rid of that unwanted skin. Clean it up very nicely. It's pretty easy. And this recipe, there's something about making salmon croquettes that is so satisfying. Especially just knowing when the salmon croquette is done, you are going to really be able to enjoy an amazing meal. Okay, so there's that one. We're going to work on the second one. I'll do the second one off camera, and then I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I know I said that I was going to do this one off camera, but just in case you missed something, I want to show you how easy it is to get that set of bones right off. Look at this. There it is right there. You just grab it, just like so. It's going to come off in one piece. Okay, there's a little bit there. There's a few pin bones. Get rid of them. Very simple. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, everyone, so our veggies are nice and sauteed up. So what we want to do now is get them out of that hot pan. Let's put them in a bowl. And here's what we're going to do, something interesting. I'm going to take those veggies and I'm putting them right in the refrigerator. How come you're going to do that? Well, I'm going to do that because I cannot put hot veggies into my salmon croquettes because we'll make, well, we'll make scrambled eggs because we're going to use eggs. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's get these gorgeous veggies out of the pan into a bowl and into the refrigerator so that they can cool down and by the time we get our mixture nice and mixed up these veggies will be cold and ready to go into our salmon croquettes okay how long did i cook the veggies well i probably cooked them for around about four minutes or so okay don't cook them until they become mush like i said just cook them as soon as you see those onions turn nice and translucent turn that pan off i'm gonna get these in the refrigerator and i'll be right back okay everyone let's mix up some salmon croquettes so now we have our salmon that has been cleaned from the bones and the skin. Keep in mind, if you love the skin and you love the bones, keep them in there. The bones are safe. For those of you that love bones, I'm gonna grab, stay right here, everyone. I'm gonna grab me a bowl because I wanna crack my eggs into a separate bowl. You always wanna make sure you have fresh eggs. You would hate to crack your eggs into your mixture and then you need to throw all your mixture away. That just wouldn't be good. Nice, beautiful, fresh eggs. I always put, when I use two cans of salmon, I use two eggs always. You want for this mixture to really bind together. Okay? So now let's go in with some spices. Don't you all be afraid to season. Listen here, season is needed when you make salmon croquettes. I'm gonna put some parsley in there. It's just gonna make everything nice and beautiful. It's not gonna give much flavor, but you all know me. All right, so we're gonna go in with some pepper, just like so, beautiful. And the Maggie Pollo, that chicken bouillon powder every time I make salmon croquettes. I cannot make a salmon croquette without Maggie Pollo. It gives an amazing flavor, trust me when I tell you. But like I said earlier, if you don't have Maggie Pollo, use just some salt and it's gonna be delicious as well. In we go with the Maggie Pollo, just like so. And then the next thing that we wanna do, I have some garlic powder that I forgot to tell you about. Got a little bit of garlic powder, get you some in there, it's gonna be great flavor. Okay, so now that that is in, you want to go in with some panko breadcrumbs. You need, it doesn't have to be panko breadcrumbs, don't get me wrong, any kind of breadcrumbs you have around the house would be just fine. 
okay? So the panko breadcrumbs in the egg is gonna be your binder. That's gonna be what's gonna hold these patties together so that they don't fall apart, you know, in your salmon croquettes. So your salmon croquettes don't fall apart. You all know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now that we have all of the lovely spices mixed in, let's go in with that secret. Gina Young's grandmom's secret. Yes, absolutely. My grandma used to make the best salmon croquettes and she would put, this is just a boiled potato. I boiled this potato for about 20 minutes. When it was done, I just took the skin off, okay? We're only gonna use a half of it. This is a small potato and I'm just gonna kinda, you know, it's so soft. I'm just gonna mash it up just like so. It gives it great flavor. And also, if you have a large family, it helps to stretch the meal and make more. And I'm sure that's probably what she did that for back in the days when she was making them. All right, so that's about a half of a small potato. Now, when I come back, I'm gonna mix this up. Be right back. Okay, everyone, so my veggies are nice and cooled down. Let's talk about the veggies for a second. Now, some of you have told me, Gina, I've made salmon patties. Gina, I've made salmon croquettes. Why do they turn out dry? I'm gonna show you how to make them so they're not gonna be dry. And the first thing that you need to start out with is using two whole eggs and also those veggies that you've sauteed. These veggies that you saute, Get them in there. They're going to create moisture in your salmon croquette and help them to stay nice and moist. They will never be dry. Trust me when I tell you this. So let's get all of this goodness right into the mixture. Keep in mind, you wanna make sure this is all the way cooled down so we don't create scrambled eggs. Okay, so now my hands are impeccably clean. I have all of my bling off. I don't know about you all, but sometimes I feel like using my God-given tools, which is my hands, is gonna really help me get down in there and mix this up how I want. Because I really need to feel the mixture to see if it's gonna be nice and um, pliable enough to stay into a patty. Let's do it. So let's come on in just like so, and we're gonna mix everything up. If, if at any time I feel like possibly we might need some more breadcrumbs, by using my hands, that's really gonna tell me if I need more breadcrumbs or if I need a little bit more of the potato, okay? And I can smash up that potato just like this. What you're gonna to want to do once we get everything mixed in, you're gonna to wanna to put make a little ball just like so, and if you can take a ball and do like this and it stays together, I know it's kind of interesting, but if you can do that and it stays together, guess what? You're gonna have the perfect salmon croquette that will not fall apart for you, that will, it'll not fall apart on you in your pan, okay? So I'm seeing that I got great texture. I put the perfect amount of breadcrumbs in. It smells amazing. My grandma, my mouth is watering, guys. My grandma, always told me. She was mixing up some meatloaf one day and she said, if it smells good, it's gonna be good. And I totally live by that. I put the perfect amount of seasoning in here, the perfect amount of breadcrumbs, and don't worry for one second because in the description below, I'm gonna tell you all exactly how much of everything you will need to make successful salmon croquettes. Okay, so now let's take some. Let's try the ball test, Gina Young style. If it stays in a ball, we're in good standing, but if it falls apart, guess what? You're gonna need a little bit more breadcrumbs. Look at that, perfect. And here's the thing, I'm happy with that. Now, a couple of you might say, Gina, um, well, let me, let me, let's start off this way. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna flour it up. I like to flour mine up and then fry it. You don't have to. Okay, you don't have to use the flour. You could use cornstarch or you could just fry it this way. You'll still get a beautiful golden brown crust. Trust me when I tell you this. If you do it this way, you're still going to be able to achieve it. If you do it with cornstarch, it'll turn out great. But when I make my Gina Young style, we're gonna dip it in a little bit of flour. Okay, so let's do this. I have my flour right here and then I have a cookie sheet right here so we can put our patties on. 
Well, it looks like we might fry up three or four in this pan. You wanna make them perfect size, not too big and not too small, okay? Some of your family members might like to take the salmon croquettes and put them between two pieces of bread and enjoy it as a sandwich. Let me know in the comment section below, how do you like to enjoy your salmon croquettes? When I was younger, I used to like to just take a fork, some white rice, we had this with white rice on the side. I would put a little bit of ketchup on my plate. I would dip this in ketchup and really go at it. Here's how we're gonna do this. Check me out, everybody. So we have our salmon croquette, perfect size, okay? Make sure you smooth it out. You don't want any holes, okay? Now you take it, we're gonna dredge it. Be very careful, you don't need to be rough with it. You all know how to be gentle. And now I'm just gonna give it a nice little shake, just like that, to take any excess off, okay? So now we're gonna make up another patty and I'll make the other patties off camera. And when I come back, we're gonna fry up some salmon croquettes, Gina Young style. Okay, everyone, let's fry these bad boys up. Take a look at them. I've let them set for about 10 minutes with the flour on them. This is what they should look like, okay? So now, I have a little bit of vegetable oil in my pan, okay? Some of you might say, but Gina, how am I gonna know when these are done? Well they're gonna turn golden brown. You all know that famous golden brown color that we all love? That's the color that they should be. When you flip them over, that's the color that they will be when they're done. Okay, there's nothing in here that needs to cook except for the egg. Keep in mind that the fish is already cooked. The fish is not raw. The vegetables have already been cooked. All we're trying to do is create a beautiful golden brown crust and get that egg in the inside nice and cooked. When these get golden brown, Gina Young will be right back. Okay, everyone, it's time to turn the patties over. Let's go, right on in. I'm starting to see a beautiful golden brown crust towards the bottom, so now I'm just gonna be very gentle. Come on, everybody, you know how to be gentle. Just like so, oh! <laughs> Mommy, make you some, make you some. Look at that, they are beautiful. And don't you dare turn them up too high. You don't want these to burn. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know. Tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Okay, everyone, take a look at these beautiful salmon croquettes. They're just about done cooking. We're gonna get ready to take them out of the pan. They didn't take any time. Remember, keep in mind, you're gonna cook yours until they get golden brown on both sides. Let's go ahead and say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you once again for another beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. We thank you, Jesus, for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy that you bring us every day, Lord. We thank you for that, amen. Okay, everybody, take a look at these beautiful salmon croquettes. Gina Young style, make you some. Amen, once again to my prayer. Let's taste this, guys. Look at that. I'm going in, I know it's hot. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> And as always, God bless. Good night. Mm.